Hello, welcome to episode 2478 of the Solo Monk Show. Uh, I'm trying to make myself do this regularly. Uh, it's not like something that comes natural to me. So, uh, talking about myself, talking about things. But, let's get to it. Okay. So, uh, tomorrow I have a show kind of thing. It's a benefit for the Homeless uh, Construction Coalition, which works here in Huntsville to uh, make sure that uh, homeless people have like dry places to sleep. Uh, they basically build pallets for tents and buy medicine and toiletries and that type of thing. Help out the local homeless. Um, so that's tomorrow, AM Boost Lumberyard from 5 to 9. I'll probably play later if there's people there. Uh, uh, Dragon is also playing. Um, she was on some older solo monk tracks, if you guys remember that or ever listened to those records. Um, yeah, she was on some older uh, solo monk records. Uh, really great R&B vocal, female vocalist. Uh, she's awesome. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, I'm trying a new format. I'm trying to have music playing in the background, and I don't have to wear headphones because it's fucking weird to um, hear your voice amplified into your ears when you're trying to just speak. It makes you speak all goofy. So maybe this is a little closer to how I actually talk. But yeah. Um, a lot of dumb shit happened uh, this past week. Alabama uh, put a bill to ban abortions uh, to a really ridiculous level. Um, that was horrible. Suck that our governor, a female, signed it in. Um, it just sucks that men think they have that right to take away the right of women. You know, it's their body, it's their choice. It doesn't even matter. You know, it's not even about that. You know, the act or whatever. I don't think anybody wants to do that. You know, no one's like skipping down to the uh, the clinic. And also, most of those clinics they do way more stuff than just abortions. It's not just like you just. It's not like a Kmart just meant for fucking abortions. It's like, you know, they're helping them with a lot of other issues, um, and they help out with a lot of families. Um, and people need those kind of services, you know. You can't just go to fucking church and pray about it, you know. Uh, it's a bummer. Um, but yeah, uh, so there is uh, a rally here in Huntsville uh, that I attended. I did some uh, design work for them or whatever and took some pictures. Uh, I was really surprised by how many people were there. I didn't... Uh, think that I don't have much faith in Alabama just because the uh, propaganda is so thick here you know the culture is thick <laughs> you can't get through with like you know information um, and then if you do it's um, considered hostile you know you can just literally just be trying to help people and talk to them about something and you can't have like just a disagreement it's uh it's like a cultural thing it's like it's religion you know well religion and self-hating and um a lot of real thick shit um but yeah i was like super happy because everybody was there to support um you know women and uh saw a lot of different types of people in the crowd, you know, um, young, old, male, female, the whole, the whole, the whole gamut, uh, represented, um, and I was really proud of, uh, 
the women that spoke and shared their stories because I know it's fucking stupid that you have to like share all your trauma with other people just to um, communicate why they should give a fuck it's fucking stupid it's some dumb shit it's like please fucking care about me as a human being I'm a human being and this is what I've gone through and this is what people go through just think about it for a fucking second and then you have to go through a whole spiel and quantify your fucking anguish and uh, relive it especially in front of a crowd it's um, it's a lot uh, I don't really feel for those uh, women who shared um, I think something's gonna get done though I mean like uh, this whole thing was like just a act of aggression um, like not so much at women as they think <laughs> even though it completely is. Uh, they just wanted something really absurd so it would get to the Supreme Court. Um, but it's fucked up that politics uh, can basically um, kill people, hurt people, uh, put people in bad spots. You know, bad politicians can kill people, you know. And it's fucking stupid because they're uh, inept, you know, usually inept. They're fucking creatures. Just, uh... Slippering and slopping across the... Tops of, uh... The masses. Sucking us dry. It's a bummer. They get to make decisions for us. Um... Um... I'm not gonna say um anymore. It's just sometimes when you talk about something, you're just so fucking pissed off. It's hard to be intelligent about it. You know, I just want to fucking cuss. I just want to fucking fight these people, you know. <laughs> I want to take my shirt off and I want to fight them in a parking lot somewhere. But, um, that's not really a good way to do that. <laughs> you have to, uh, you have to be chill and you got to play the long game because that's what they're doing, you know. That's the reason conservatives fucking win all the time. Is they, they play the long game. You know, they got the patience. They're, uh, it's not so much they got the numbers. It's just you can't count on a liberal to show up to do anything. <laughs> We're always uh, arriving late and leaving early. Kind of thing. hungover perpetually late folks artists and um, leftists although uh, now that I'm getting older I do know more um, well kept leftists but I think it's just because it's here in Huntsville we got a um, good collection of uh, intelligent people from different backgrounds people who move here from other places for jobs and so there is like very intelligent people here. Um, outside of Huntsville, though, mm, I don't know about that shit. Like where I grew up, nah, man, it was it was tough. People are fucking real dumb, steeped in the culture and the filth of the South. Um. Oh man, I said I'm like 30. Ah, fuck. Alright. Um, there we go again. So, show tomorrow for the homeless. Uh, Construction Coalition at A and Boost Lumberyard. I have a record coming out July first, which is uh, it's basically going to be three tracks that are about 
20 so minutes long complete ideas um and then next month i have a art show at cross-eyed owl brewery in decatur and also a show july 5th at copper top uh, another benefit for the homeless construction coalition I have a few singles out right now, so if you guys want to check that shit out, that would be cool. Um, and I'll be helping more with this um, ridiculous abortion bill. Uh, I mean, protest. Whatever. Whatever way I can. I've been reading up on uh, different ways that actually work with like civil disobedience. So a lot of stuff doesn't work, but it makes you feel better, like screaming and uh, getting arrested and like flipping the fuck out and setting shit on fire. But um, it doesn't really work. Uh, and also, if you're poor like me, getting arrested is not really an option. You could fucking be homeless afterwards, which I guess that's how capitalism works. Can't protest if you gotta fucking survive and monetize uh, so I'll be looking at that and uh, as you guys know I will be sharing in any way every way that I can through Instagram, Twitter Facebook, all the digital platforms and out here in the real world outside of the camera thank you guys uh, for watching uh, and listening to me ramble Peace out.